Today I'm going to show you how to add a stylish mobile bottom menu to any WordPress site. In order to do that, go to the Add a New Plugin section and search for the mobile bottom menu. Here is the plugin I will use for making a stylish bottom menu for mobile devices. After installing and activating the plugin, let's go to the plugin settings section. Let's start by enabling the mobile bottom menu. I can enable the feature from this page, but it will not appear on the site. This is because no menu has been selected for the mobile button menu. I must select the menu first, so I have to select it first. You can also click on the link here. From here, I can select the menu which I want to use as a mobile bottom menu. Here you can see. Let's refresh the page. The mobile menu has now appeared. By default, you can see this kind of menu, but you can change the style of icons and other things for that, let's go to the plugin settings, before going to the plugin settings, let's see how to change the icon. Next, let's add some menu items, such as a shopping cart. Let's go to the customizer settings. We'll see some default settings here. Since I'm using the light version of my theme, let's change the color to white. You can see many pre-made templates here, but you need to upgrade to the pro version to access them. Let me change the template. You can see all the templates here. Let's go to the customization section now. The second option is a breakpoint. You can add a breakpoint when the mobile menu appears. Then you can see the background type option. This option allows you to choose what kind of background you want. Then there is the background color option, which allows us to choose the background color of the mobile menu. You can also select the blur. If you don't want the blur, then you can choose the value 0. Here, you can also choose the border and the border color. Here you can see the border. You can also reduce the border size. The border radius can also be set. On the border, you can also set shadows. You can also adjust the margins and padding. There are also menu style settings. There are several options in the menu style settings related to how many menu items will be displayed in the mobile menu. By default, the value is 6, but you can change it as you want to I am setting the value to 4. Now you can see scroll option has disappeared. Then the background type option you can also change the background color. Let me just show you. I'm just setting the default color. A blur will be apparent. Let me show you. After removing the blur, you will notice that there is no blur in the menu. Then the padding option comes in. You can set up padding if you want.
It is also possible to set a margin. The background color is shown after setting a margin. However, you have to also change the background color from the first option. I'm just setting a background color as transparent from the general's option. I think it looks great right now. Let's go to the other section. Additionally, you can define a border. And set a border radius for a great looking menu. Here you can see. If you want padding in each item then you can also do that. You can also set an offset value. I'm giving 5 pixels to the opposite fellow, now see what happened. Let's make it the default value. Then you can set the item border radius also, here you can see an item background color option. Here is the item's active color. Then select the item icon visibility option. By default, it's set to show an option. But if you select the hide option, then it will not show the icon. You can also select the show and active options. The icon will appear when the menu item is active. There is a border here, but you can remove it. Alternatively, you can also choose hide when active. Then you can select the icon position. For changing the icon position, you can also set an icon offset. Let me show you. And you can see a border. You can turn it off from the first option. Next, we have the icon typography option. What should the icon size be? Depending on your preferences, you can select the icon size. There are two options for icon typography. The first is the for inactive menu items option. For the active item menu, there is another one. Also, you can set a color for the icon. The color of the item menu and the color of the active menu item can also be set. Now let's see, if we want to use our own icon, then what should we do? For that, go to the menu section. Click on the menu item. Here you can see the icon option. You can change it from here. Let me change all the icons quickly.
You can also choose your own customized icon. For that, please turn off the icon mode option. Then you will notice an image upload option. Let me download the icon so that I can show it to you. Let's go to the Font Awesome website. And search for the icon that we want to use. This looks perfect for me. Let me download the icon and now go to the options and select the image upload option and choose the image. Here you can see the menu item. One more thing you have to keep in mind is that if you choose an image as an icon then you cannot change the color of the image from the plugin. So that if you want a different color for the active icon, then you should upload a different image for the active icon. You can also download the different color icons from the Font Awesome website. Those were some of the main settings. Lastly, let's take a look at some samples or you might say pre-made templates this plugin offers. Visit the link below to see all these demos. You may see a scroll bar, but it won't appear on mobile devices. Lastly, I would like to say that the plugin is worth checking out. So go check it out and make your website mobile friendly and more attractive. Thanks for watching.